Help coach, my eating absolutely sucks. Now I've decided to do this video because I get it. A lot of us fail in between belly burn challenges and our eating absolutely sucks, or so we think of it. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you three ways that you're gonna be able to get your eating on track. First, I've given up on trying to tell people to track their food. Second is that you need to have a hard fasting time during the weekday, and I'm gonna give you a tip of what you can do if you have a night out. And then number three is protein shakes. So before I go on guys, give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because I'm putting out a daily video every single day. So number one, I've given up on telling people to, at the very least, eyeball your food. I always say, eyeball your food, put it into your MyFitnessPal, even if you don't know the exact portion, even if the food that you're putting in isn't the exact food that you're eating, at least you're going to have some sort of awareness. So when you punch in that donut, or that cake, or that cookie, or that glass of wine, you're gonna see how those calories keep skyrocketing up, and you're gonna realize that you are eating more than you are burning. So number one, let's just forget about trying to eyeball and track the food because nobody seems to be doing it. But that's the number one thing I would tell you if you really want to get your eating back on track. Number two is that you need to at least dedicate to one thing. So the one easiest thing that you can do is have a hard fasting time. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop eating, but I would tell you to stop eating calories, okay? So when you set a hard fasting time, what does that mean? That means that you don't eat between the hours of 8 p.m. and I would say even just do 10 a.m. Most of us can't do 8 p.m. till noon. I would say 8 p.m. till 10 a.m. because that's when you're like super busy in the morning and you can get all your work done and then finally at 10 a.m. you don't have to wait till noon to start eating. Eight to 10, make it a hard stop and start. So then what you can do after eight, if you're still hungry or you still have that sweet tooth, is go to the artificial stuff. Some people say that it's bad for you, but right now it's totally safe and it's on the market. So until that day comes out, we will never know. But for you to help you with your weight loss journey, go ahead and have yourself a sugar-free drink. My recommendation is that you do the EAAs that we have from the gym. They taste great, they're gonna help with your muscle recovery and they have zero calories. Now, if you have an outing during the weekday that's gonna ruin your weekday fasting, Let's say on a Wednesday you have a outing for a lunch that somebody's in from out of town, okay? And it brings you to dinner time where you can't stop eating before 8 p.m. So then what you do is you take a day on the weekend and you make that your fifth out of seven days. So if Monday, Tuesday you're good, you stop eating at eight, you start eating at 10, but Wednesday you end up you know, having a glass of wine at 9 p.m., that's fine. Sunday, you're gonna start your fasting day at 8 p.m., okay? Or Saturday, whatever day you're least busy or you don't have an outing, make one of those weekdays, your weekends, your hard fast times. Then number three is, I would tell you to commit to four protein shakes a day. Yes, I said four, okay? And the gurus out there say that you can only absorb so much protein at once. I mean, where else is those calories gonna go? Your body's gonna use those calories for what it needs. So if your recommendation is to get 150 to 200 grams of protein, who cares when it comes in? Because if you don't commit to four protein shakes a day, there's a good chance that you're going to commit to four chocolate bars a day, or you're gonna see that your carbohydrates are gonna skyrocket. And what we're trying to do is create some type of balance amongst your carbs, right? Carbs are super easy. People bring in mini donuts to your workplace. It's easy just to eat four or five of them. Even the healthy stuff like Neri's bars, it's easy to put down three or four of those in a short amount of time. So what we wanna do is start your day off with a double protein shake. My recommendation for you. I love the Ferrero Rocher protein that we have here at the gym. It's got the sweetness that I'm looking for. It's very like thin so it doesn't get all like clumpy and like hard to, to put down and honestly like two scoops of that is 60 grams of protein. So the very first meal when you break your fast at 10 a.m. I want you to have a double scoop of protein with one cup of water. And no matter what you cannot have a muffin. You cannot have a coffee with cream. If you're going to have coffee two scoops of protein, mix it in there, okay? But always start your day with two protein shakes. Then, middle of the day, have your next protein shakes, and at the very least, that's going to be 120 grams of protein for the day, which if you were actually tracking your food, you'll probably see that you're not even getting that much. But yeah, you should be getting probably 150 to even up to 200 grams of protein. So tip number three is that you need to commit to four protein shakes a day. So if you're looking to get back on track, 
your eating has been absolutely terrible and trash and there's no belly burn in the like the next little bit then the things that i would tell you is number one is if you can't track your food eyeball it but if you can't do that then make sure that you have a hard fasting time where you five days of the week you stop eating at eight and you start eating at 10. and then number three is that commit to the protein have four protein shakes a day Two when you first break your fast, so two first thing in the morning or whenever you first start eating, and then two in the middle of the day. At the very least, we can bounce out some of the protein to the carbs that you're going to eat. So guys, before you go, make sure that you give the video a like, hit the share button, and if you're looking to get started, contact us for the five days for five bucks, and we're gonna get you started on the right track. We're gonna restart that metabolism, we're gonna kickstart you, and we're gonna help you be the best version of you.